everyone. So I want to take a bit of time here today and talk about how is it that we can develop people skills. And I want to give you several things that we can do to develop people skills. You know, Dale Carnegie said that it's about 10, 15% technical skills and 80 five 90% people skills. In other words, you can have all the technical competencies in the world, but still not experience professional success if you don't have people skills, the ability to collaborate. So let me give you several things we can do to develop people skills. Hey, everybody, welcome back to our next episode of the Flourishing Podcast, where we are talking about creating healthy workplace culture here at Flourishing Workplace. We believe in changing the world by changing the workplace, that if we can change the workplace and the environment where we work, we will literally change the world for tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people around the world. We've been looking at the 10 traits of people who create a flourishing workplace culture. You can go back and check out our previous episodes and review those. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and look at the ninth trait of people who create a flourishing workplace culture, and that is interpersonal and collaborative skills. That's interpersonal and collaborative skills. Now, when you think about interpersonal and collaborative skills, I want you to ask this question, if you can, with me for a moment. What impact does an individual with interpersonal and collaborative skills have on the work environment? Well, you don't have to be a social psychologist or an organizational psychologist to realize that it is everything. I mean, when you have individuals on the job who play well in the sandbox with the other people, I'll tell you what, it makes all the difference in terms of creating a healthy workplace culture. And we all know the opposite. When we have people on the team who don't know how to play nicely in the sandbox, I'll tell you what, it impacts everyone. So I want to take a bit of time here today and talk about how is it that we can develop people skills. And I want to give you several things that we can do to develop people skills. You know, Dale Carnegie said that it's about 10, 15% technical skills and 85, 90% people skills. In other words, you can have all the technical competencies in the world, but still not experience professional success if you don't have people skills, the ability to collaborate. So let me give you several things we can do to develop people skills. The first is to be secure. It is very difficult, my friends, to have great people skills if you don't have a sense of security in yourself. Why? Because an insecure people constantly feels threatened by the people around them. I mean, that is literally the definition of insecurity. I feel threatened and I'm always watching and I'm always looking and I'm always wondering, are people trying to take advantage of me? Are they trying to jack me? Are they trying to, to, to manipulate me? And so, of course, I can't just be and an insecure person is primarily more focused on themselves than they are anyone else. I mean, they are addicted to their own sort of neurosis, right? That's what happens when you're insecure. I've been there. And what we got to do if we're going to develop great people skills is to become secure. The second thing that we got to do to develop great people skills is to be affectionate. Now, when I say affectionate on the workplace front, I don't mean in an inappropriate way. What I mean in a very professional way, we can be affectionate. We can like the people that we work with. We can buy them birthday cards. We can sometimes give them gifts. When it's somebody's birthday, we can get a, a, a cake and bring it into the staff meeting. I mean, we can take every out for a coffee. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do to show affection. And you say, well, why should we have to do that on in the workplace? I mean, I, I why should I have to like people uh, that I work with? Well, you don't have to, but I can promise you this. It will make you a much more collaborative, team-oriented person. You know, and, and now there are sometimes it's, it's almost impossible to like people. And I get that. But I tell you what, most of the time, Liking somebody is simply a choice. And we just have to decide, you know what? I'm going to like them. I'm going to honor them. I'm going to value them. I'm going to think highly of them. I'm going to respect them. And when I do, what happens is those people skills begin to flow. So I'm going to develop people skills. Number one, I've got to be secure. But number two, I've got to be affectionate. Number three, I've got to speak life. Do you know what? Life and death is in the power of the tongue. And there is nothing easier than being critical. 
There's nothing easier than being a hater. There's nothing easier than being a judger. There's nothing easier than being a bully with your words. There is nothing sometimes more difficult than kind of biting your tongue and speaking life into somebody's situation, into somebody's work. And so the next time somebody gives you a project to review or a piece of work to evaluate, what I would say is rather than just jumping out and tearing it down and trashing it, take a moment, reflect, think, how can I speak life? The fourth thing that we can do to develop great people skills is to be appreciative. Do you know there is something about gratitude that literally costs you nothing, but often gives you everything. And I want you to think about that for a moment. I mean, when was the last time you were around somebody who was completely ungrateful and who was incredibly entitled? (laughs) Okay, I'm sure it's happened to everybody listening to this video here today or watching. I'll tell you what, it's happened to us all. We weren't expecting somebody to bow down but we were just expecting a very simple, hey, thank you, or a little bit of note of appreciation or whatever, and we didn't get it. Actually, we got the opposite. Somebody was like incredibly entitled as if they were doing us a favor when we were the ones who had just done them a favor. I'll tell you what, it never leaves a good taste in your mouth when you're around somebody who is entitled, but it always leaves a good taste in your mouth when you're around somebody who is grateful. Can I encourage you, friends? to be grateful, to be appreciative. I'll tell you what, that will attract people to you. Tell you what, another great people skill is to be thoughtful. Now, what is uh, being thoughtful? Being thoughtful is sometimes this idea of putting yourself in another person's shoes. Okay, not not literally, (laughs) because that would be awkward. So don't go like robbing people's shoes and sticking their shoes on your feet. But what I mean is, trying to imagine like, what is that other person going through? What is that other person experiencing? How are they perceiving the events around them? I wonder what the world looks like through their eyes. And then as I'm there, starting to imagine how I would want to be treated, how I would want to be spoken to, how I would want to have people engage with me. I mean, it's the golden rule, right? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And could you imagine the massive shift that would take place in our world? Could you imagine the massive shift that would take place in life in general if every single one of us just went into a place where we were thoughtful? I'll tell you what, unbelievably powerful. So how do we develop people skills? Well, the first thing is be secure. The second thing is be affectionate. The third is to speak life. The fourth is to be appreciative The fifth is to be thoughtful. And let me go ahead and give you the last one. And that is this, to be encouraging. I'll tell you what, we all get by with a little help from our friends. There are moments in all of our lives where we're just down, where we're just discouraged. And you know, what it takes is just somebody around us to notice, hey, you know, Abe seems a little down today. I wonder what it would look like for me just to give him a a positive pat on the back, maybe verbally, you know, maybe just say, hey man, you're doing a great job. Like like you encouraging somebody doesn't actually take a lot of energy and effort from you, but if you're sincere, if you're authentic, if it's straight from the heart, tell you what, it can be incredibly nourishing to somebody else. So we've been talking about 10 traits of people who create a flourishing workplace culture. And here we've looked at the ninth, and that is interpersonal and collaborative skills. I'll tell you what, we all need to play nice in the sandbox. And here at Flourishing Workplace, we believe in workplaces where everyone can thrive, where everyone can contribute, and where everyone, I mean every single person, can belong. And if you're wondering, well, how do I create that? Please do go to flourishingworkplace.com. Book a discovery session. And in that discovery session, we'll give you a detailed roadmap and we will walk with you to implement it. That is flourishingworkplace.com. Please do book a discovery session, and we can't meet, wait to meet you and go on this journey together. We'll see you in our next episode.